used to think the same as you that everything was right but now I have discovered things that help me see the light oh, oh. Nice and early. Yeah, not like you. Hey, bud. You know, I heard you get up like six times last night. I know. Drew had a cough that kept making him up, didn't it? Honey, why didn't you just give me the old <laughs> shot in the ribs tell me it's my turn? No. Or better yet, why didn't you get his father? Hey, you know, go play. There's some crayons over there. It's okay. I enjoy it. Well, yeah, of course you do. You're a mother. You know, and you're a great mother. You see Matthew like little Drew there. Baby needs comfort, and love, safety. I want to know when Matthew is going to be a father to his son. So those are the ads they wanted to run for the metro section. Honey, you have a, a young child at home. You're working the night shift? 3 a.m. in Landview is daytime somewhere, right? Uh, Tim wanted those ready for next week. No, no, no. No, listen. I'm, I'm sorry. We're going to find a position for you that is much more conducive to your schedule. I appreciate it, Miss Lord, but I'm just thankful for the job. But how do you manage with Drew? I mean, I'm sorry. It's not on my business. No, no. I'm, a woman down the hall helps me out. I have a few study sitters, and then Bo and Nora watch them sometimes, too. But speaking of, they're probably watching the clock. Destiny, what about Matthew? So what do you want to talk to me about? Uh, we're going to have a big event at Shelter, and we're probably going to need more security, so I figured I'd let you know, give you the heads up. What do you mean, big? Uh, it's a surprise. What, so on a need-to-know basis now? On this case, yeah. Okay. Should be honest. Thanks. Cheers. Oh, and uh, in Australia, when they say it's big, it usually means it's small. Uh, Brucey, in this case, it's a biggie. Cutter! You know, I hear in some countries it's bad luck to see a girl before a date. I am learning a lot of stuff today, but I am pretty sure that's just before marriage. I mean, you should travel more. I really should. Uh, as far as our date, oh, no. Your, uh, your cold feet? No, I just... Shit. I said Thursday, didn't I? Yeah. I have a thing that can't... It sounds like I'm blowing you off. <laughs> it it does, does, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I'm not, I promise. It was work. It just came up. Well, you know, it's just not a big deal anyway. I mean, I had totally forgotten about it until like a minute ago. Yeah, totally. That's I mean, you, you know, you that it is. Right. I got, you yeah. know, all these guys and uh -huh. just what I mean. <laughs> Friday. Busy. Saturday? Work. Sunday? Church. Really? Seriously? No. All right, Sunday it is. It's a date. It is a date. And if anything comes up, I will burn that stupid club down. Wow. I think you're getting a. Tell yourself there, Romeo. Why don't you just start by buying a girl a drink? Ooh, fancy. All right. Well, uh, anything the lady wants on me. Five dollar limit. Hey, wait, wait, wait. I'll just I call first. You're in the driveway, Todd. You can't just show up here anytime you He's feel like son. it. He's my son. And I brought breakfast. Wow, big spender. And keep your voice down. People are still asleep in this house, all right? Who, oh, Dorian? She's going to need a few decades of beauty rest before it starts to work. Did you come here to throw out insults? No. Kind of. I came here to talk to Jack about what happened with me and Victor. Well, what are you going to say, Todd? Well, that's between the father and the son. Let's go.
Don't hey, touch me. So I know things have always been a little messy between me and your uncle, and well, you've, you've been a member of this family long enough to know that, Jack. But there are things that I could tell you about him. <clears throat> like how he screams when he's shot? Or how when he strangles you, it's surprising how he's much stronger with his left hand than he is with his he's right. He's not my uncle. He's my dad. Okay, so then what am I? A stranger. I'm trying to fix that. It doesn't need fixing. Now, Victor might have raised you, but it's my blood that courses through your you veins. think that doesn't make me want to slip my wrist every single day? How short your fuse is. You do that thing with your eyebrow and you're pissed. And do you not understand? I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Would you mind if I just sit here while I eat? You want? Breakfast of champions. I don't eat that crap. Since when? Since I became a vegan Why yesterday. Why would you do something like that? Meat is murder. Something you should know a lot about. Damn it, Jack. Breakfast of champions. Oh, man. <laughs> Somebody loves his grandpa. <laughs> Some grandpa loves him more than anything. Guy, but you know what? It's not enough, honey. Because the boy needs an F A T H E R. I agree. But all any of us ever do is yell at Matthew to be a father to the kid. And he, listen, Matthew said it right from the get go. He wanted nothing to do with Drew. And he made that sweeping proclamation like a typical Buchanan, and it backed him right into a Ooh. corner. And now he doesn't know how to get out. And we need to help him figure that out. Well, we know that Destiny loves Matthew. Kimberly yeah, says he doesn't love her. I know, but if we could just get them together and get them to rekindle their friendship, it might make it easier for Matthew to establish a relationship with Drew. You know, I don't know, there just seems to be some sort of wall that got built up and nobody seems to be able to break it through. And we can't keep yelling at him. We have to figure out a way to break down the wall and help him get out of that corner. You're right. Got any ideas? I'll put my thinking cap on. She's gonna put her thinking cap on. You notice she never oh, takes yeah. it off. Are these any good? Really? Do you mind if I have one? I need to choose the orange. You already ate the, the yellow ones? I'm gonna try these. Oh, ma'am. Those are great. <sighs> Coffee's, coffee's almost ready. I'll grab it on the way. The news waits for no man. <laughs> you know, Jeffrey, um, I'd be happy to stop by the banner later, drop off some more cliches if you need them. <laughs> Love it, but I'm not gonna be working over there today. Oh yeah? You still can't trust the eyes and ears over at that place? I'm Coke, they're Pepsi. You know how bad those other reporters want the recipe to my secret syrup? Please don't ever refer to your secret syrup again. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you work? Or is that, that classified too? Let's just say I like to keep things mobile. <laughs> wow, you know, if you were as quick to jump up and do the dishes as you are to check your computer, this place would be spotless. Michelle? No. It's the electric bill. <gasps> oh. Well, she hasn't contacted you for a whole seven minutes. She probably dumped you. Shame. You'll be okay. You'll be just fine. It's good coffee. Oh, good. I'm glad. So I guess that's not something we need to restructure, right? Vicky, I'm just trying to help. I know you are, darling. And you did big time with the bridge loan. Yeah, these are just a couple of reorganization ideas. Which I appreciate, and I promise to consider. But if you look on the outside of that door, it's my name. You're right. You're absolutely right. And I will see you at home. Have a great day. Yes, you too. Thank you, I will. Now. Vicki, 
about that cloud story. Oh, my God. If you say cloud one more time, there is going to be a big black one over this room. What? Nothing. Just... What? I can't help it if I want to help you, Vicky. Oh, Clint. Look, I mean, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal. The landscape is changing for everyone. It's not as if the sky is falling on me alone. Yeah, I know that. And you will never be alone, Vicky. But I'm telling you, if you truly want to save this place, you need to get aggressive. You know, I still can't believe that the pressure, the water pressure in this building, it just cocks out if more than one person is showering. Yeah. Um, You're sure you don't mind if I go first, right? Yeah, no, I'm just finishing up this paper on the limitations of the reporter's shield law. Whatever that means. Just save me some hot water, hey, please. No, I'm, I'm gonna use it all. you realize we're just insignificant? More like the same significance as the rocks, birds, trees. Sometimes stand in a downpour and just feel the rain. I've gone running in the rain so cool, like a living movie. You run, me too. Since when do you go running? You were listening. What, you think I was going to leave you alone in there with him? I'm dying in there. He's shooting me down every turn. Well, if your little conversation heart-to-heart -heart is over... Well, it's it... not over. Well, from what I heard, it sounds like you didn't really have much say in the decision. You know, so... you, 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 you push me away from him, and then you accuse me of abandonment. Okay. Then what, what do you want I to do? I could use a little help. I gave him a pediatric dose of cough syrup about five this morning, and it seemed to help. Yeah. How did you get him to take it? He likes me to eat the nail on my No. Oh, oh, mama tricks. I want to help me sleep. That won't make me wake up groggy. Oh. <laughs> you know, speaking of sleep, working at night and then having <laughs> your son all day long, that, when do you oh, sleep? No. I nap. Oh, I he does. <laughs> you know what? It, it, a little more financial support might help you get on a normal schedule. <sighs> That's not... so generous, but I've taken so much from you guys. Thank you. Where's your jacket, cutie? We can go get breakfast on the way out. Oh, he's already eaten. No, hey, oh. Destiny, at least let us feed you. <laughs> I need to eat. Well, um... I need to eat. You do? We have a bowl of food right there. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. Perfect. I'm glad you will. Because um, it's almost time for his dose, and I bet you I could teach you my mama tricks. <sighs> Well, if it isn't Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> no. Olsen was a photojournalist. I'd be more of Clark Kent. Well, I didn't want to be the one to be Superman, but hey. Well, over at the banner, you're considered super. In fact, Vicky can't stop talking about you. I'm sorry about that. And don't be, I'm thrilled. Finally, somebody has brought some juice to the place. In fact, Vicky and I were talking about making the online edition central to the whole operation. Digital's the future. Yeah, it really is. And it was last week, I can't remember where the hell I read it, but it was a newspaper in Hong Kong who's using crowdsourcing to update breaking news. It's genius. If people text you what's going on, it makes the whole city unpaid streamers. Free labor. It's brilliant. So I mentioned what would happen if the banner did something like that right here in Landu. What else did you pitch it? Well, a couple more things, but uh, you're busy. I don't want to interrupt your work. This is my work. Okay, come here. What else are they doing in Hong Kong? Mom, I'm busy. Well, unbusy yourself. Jack, listen to me. You really need to hear this, all right? Your father and Victor last week tried to call a truce. Yeah, you know what? I, I went to him. I just want you to know that that's how that happened. Uh, yes, and your father tried to bury the hatchet. Yeah, in his neck. Jack, I went there for you, okay? For you and for Danny and for Sam and for Star. Yeah, and for because your you're freaking Gandhi. No, because somebody had to take the first step and it sure as shit okay, wasn't gonna be that guy. And, and your, your father really tried to make a fresh 
start. Yeah, and I was living up to my side of the deal until he showed up at my hotel room, you started talk, going completely you stop talking, talking about Victor. Nuts. I love him. And I know you don't want me to say that, but it's true. I love him. And now he's gone. And nothing I do or say will ever bring him back. So can you just leave me alone? Now! I love your ideas, Jeffrey. The problem is that the banner has to cut costs and not hire more people. You don't have to. Your current reporters will cover multiple beats. Guerrilla journalism, boss. Like in the 70s. The 70s? When you were what, a gleam in someone's eye? <laughs> I ran my first article the day I was born. Oh, I'll bet you did. And plus, obsolete departments can be shuttered. You no, know that. no. Some of those people have worked here for decades. Yeah, and we keep them. We just shift them to the online edition. Except the only digital they know is on a calculator. So we'll teach him. We? As your new head of digital content. <laughs> okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But I tell you, I, I really do like some of these ideas, especially the one about cutting days from the print schedule and making them online only. Mr. Buchanan has a lot more from boss. And which Mr. Buchanan would that be? That one? <sighs> He's so right. Everyone gets their content from phone or tablet these days. Most kids have never even been in a library. <laughs> they have no idea where the term cut and paste actually comes from. No. You're back. Yeah, I don't mean to intrude. No, 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 not at all. This is perfect. Jeffrey, would you mind um, excusing us just for a moment, please? Thank you. Definitely. I have to grab coffee again. Mm. That is one smart kid. You're taking private meetings with my employees? Vicky, it was a chance run-in at the coffee shop. Which apparently turned into a management session on major restructuring. Oh, come with on With an now. employee who is not only not management, he's not even a real employee. We don't care where the ideas come from, if they're good ideas, right? I run the banner. This is my newspaper. If you can't handle that, then I will cut you a check for that loan amount right now. You promised me that you would stay out of my business. Okay, I'm guessing taking a loan from you was a bad idea. Seriously, rock climbing, he is such a liar. Ah! Oh my god, you just missed this huge bug. It was right on your computer. Don't worry, I got it. Um, Good. What, what time are you home today? Um, four or five o'clock. Why? Okay, well, my last class is at five. Maybe when we're both home, we could go for a run. A run? Yeah. Well, it's just like walking, but faster. Yeah, since when do you run, Dan? Um, since I discovered that you guys keep an entire kitchen cabinet dedicated to candy. Mm. You know, I just, I really hate running at night when I'm alone, and it's a scary thing. Okay, listen, if you, if you don't, you know, if you're not up for getting your butt kicked by a girl, Matthew, oh. you can just say it. <laughs> what? Sure. Okay, it's a date, an appointment. My butt looks forward to it. <laughs> Later. Bye. Not bad for someone who can't cook. Oh, there you go. She must really like you if she brought out the big <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Just, um, it's not real bacon, but don't tell him. Oh, okay. It's turkey bacon. Thank you guys so much for everything, really. Oh. Come on. You're practically our daughter. Yeah. Help us what families are for. But we're not family. Well, then what would you call us? Complicated? Oh, destiny. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I love Matthew. I always have, and I probably always will, but he doesn't love me. And I just have to accept that fact and be okay living life on my own. Well, I wish that you didn't have to. It's okay. I want to. You know, as 
screwed up as he is. You gotta admit, he's at least trying, right? Jack, it's, uh, it's gonna be okay. How many times have you heard me say no, right? Sorry. I'm sorry. Honey, a bad time? No, sorry, Mom. I just burnt my tongue. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, I've got some taste buds for the rest of the week. Well, I hope not. I'm calling to invite you to dinner. Oh, cool. When? Thursday. Mmm, can't. I have a date. A date? Yeah, it's gonna... Oh, shit. Honey, let it cool down if it's too hot. No, 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 no. I just... I forgot. He canceled. Who canceled? My date. Canceled what? My date. I'm confused. That's okay, Mom. So am I. I haven't heard from John in forever, and there's this guy, and he's really cute, and they offered to make him dinner, and I don't know what to do. What do I do? Honey, you go for it. Really? Yeah. You reschedule the date. I will take Liam any date you want, and you go for it. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You're ready. Okay. To move on. All right. From John. Love you. I'll see you soon. Next on One Life to Live. To what do we owe this pleasure, Snoop Dogg? I'm scared to job off you with Matthew. You went out running with Danny. No, I got nothing waiting for me at home. This is going to be the best job I've ever had. Well, she's here to sing, not to date the hired hands. I got a call this morning from John. One Life to Live. Star.